Good morning. Today we are switching gears a little bit from making a table and plotting points to finding what's called slope. Another word for slope is rate of change. So what is slope? Slope is how angled our line is. So we've been making a table to plot some points to create a line. Now we want to know what is that line? Is it a positive slope? Is it a positive angle? Is it negative? Is it zero? or is it undefined? So what do those look like? On the wall in the classroom, we have a poster that has this face, and this is Slope Man. His eyes show the positive and the negative slopes. We always read slope like we read a book from left to right. Just like you read words across the page, you read this direction. So we read slope from left to right. If our angle or our line is going up, this is what we call a positive slope. If from left to right we're going down, this would be a negative slope. If the slope goes flat straight across like this, that is what we call a slope of zero. It would be like walking on flat ground. You're not going up or down. And then the last one, this one is what some people get confused on, the line that is vertical. There's a U here. This U stands for undefined. U-N-D-E-F-I-N-E-D, -E -E undefined. This means our line is going straight up and down. And if you think we have our slope man here, you could walk across this line, zero. You could walk up this line, positive, down this line, negative. But you can't walk on this line. If you tried, you would fall and not end up in a super good position. You'd be probably not alive there. So that's what we call this undefined. You can't walk across this line. It's going straight up and down. So tell whether the slope of these lines are positive, negative, zero, or undefined. Oops. So we need to look at first this top left one here. Here our slope man would be walking from left to right uphill. So this is what we call a positive slope. You can look over here if you need as well. Positive slope. In this one, our slope man would be starting on the left, like you read a book, and walking across the page. We're going downhill, so this is a negative slope. This next slope, we would be walking flat straight across. This is a slope of zero, like you see here in our slope man. And that means our last one, right here, you can't walk on that line. He would fall straight down. So that would be an undefined slope. If you want to put U-N-D, you can. Otherwise, there's the whole word, F-I-N-E-D, undefined. Moving along, now instead of just telling you whether it's positive or negative, we're going to actually count the exact number. So we know that like the number 2 is a positive number and negative 2 would be a negative number. Those numbers correlate or relate to the lines that we have drawn. And we're always going to count our slope, our rise, meaning going up and down first, how far we're going up and down, and then our run. We can run to the right or we can run to the left. So this is our rise going up and down first from one point to the other, and then our run. This M is what we call slope. All day today we're talking about slope. In math, we use the letter M to represent slope. I wish it was an S, but this is what we have to use now, okay? I like to think of us in a hotel building. If you are right here in a hotel building, and you want to get over here, you need to first get into the elevator to take the elevator up or down to whatever floor you need to get to. That's what we call our rise. We have to take the elevator first because if we walked over in our apartment building or our hotel building and then tried to go down, well, there's not going to be an elevator there necessarily. So right here, we're going to start, we're going to get in our elevator, and we're going to go down. Going down is going to be negative, going up is positive. So going down one, two, three, now we're on the same floor as this other point. We went down three. So our M, our slope, first we went down three. And then we're going to run over to where our friend is, over here in this room. We're going over one, two, three, four, five. 
and we went over five. We always write our slope as a fraction, negative three over five. Rise first, we went down three, and then we went over five to the right. If we started it over here and went up one, two, three, that's a positive. Going to the left would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So it really doesn't matter which point you start from, but you have to go up or down first, and then left to right second. These are both 3 over 5, and they're both negative. These are technically the same answer. My point is you can start at either point. I will always start on the left, because that's how we read slope from left to right. So here I'm going to get in my elevator and go up, rising 1, 2, 3, 4 to get to this point. So we went up 4, that was our rise. And now we're going to get out and we're going to run over 1, 2, 4 over 2. Now this is an acceptable answer, but if we can simplify it, let's do so. We can divide the top and the bottom by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So our slope is the same as 2 over 1 or just 2. All of these mean the exact same thing. Alright, let's look over here. Rise over run. Get my elevator. I'm going to rise 1, 2. That's on the top always. And then I'm running 1, 2, 3. 2 over 3. Now one thing that you can use to double check, this slope man would be walking, oops, can't see in there. He would be walking uphill and this is a positive answer. If you were walking downhill, like this one, oops, downhill, oops, we should get a negative answer like we did. So this next one, if I get in my elevator here, I need to get over to this room here. We don't have to go up or down. So my slope, I went up and down zero. I didn't go up and down. I just got out and I walked over one, two, three, four, five doors down. Zero divided by five. If you look over at our poster on the wall, is that no or okay? This one is okay if it's okay. 0 divided by anything is just 0. And we do have a straight flat slope. Looking at your slope, man, that's a slope of 0. And then our last one, I'm going to start on the left, get in my elevator. My M is my slope, that's what we're trying to find. We're rise over run. Rising, we're really going down in the elevator. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have negative 4, down 4. And over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My slope is negative 4 over 5, and our slope man would be walking downhill. Perfect. So now we're going to plot our points and then find our slope, rise over run using our elevator. So remember, plotting points, x, y, we always go left to right first, then up and down. That tells us our directions. Slope is our elevator, up and down first. So these are actually backwards or opposites of each other, because x is first when you plot a point, but up and down comes first when we find slope. So notice the difference there. So I'm going to plot this point. x is a negative 6, so negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And negative 6 again is down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And my second point, x, y. x is negative 2, so negative 1, negative 2. And y is also negative 2. So there are my two points. I'm going to draw my line through them. We can extend that line out if we want. And I'm going to count to find my slope. Now that I've plotted my points, x, y, I can find my slope, get in my elevator. I'm rising 1 two, three, four, and I'm going to get out and walk over one, two, three, four doors down. This is a correct answer, but four over four is the same as just one, or one over one. Let's try the next one, x, y, x, y, let's plot our points. The y axis, remember, goes up and down, the letter y is longer. So x is negative 4, oops, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and then y is 0. We're not going up and down, it's just right here. Our second point, x, is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then negative 5. If you want to number the lines every time, feel free to do so. So there are my two points. I'm going to connect them by drawing my line through them. Once I plot the points and draw the line, I need to find my slope, my m. So first, rising, going up or down in my elevator. I'm going to get my elevator here. I'm going down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm down 5, and get out and go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's an acceptable answer, but I would like you to simplify it if you can. We can divide 5 and 10 both by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So our answer is negative 1 half if we simplify. Here are two more. I would like for you to try these on your own and then see if you got them right by clicking play. So here's x-axis, here's my y-axis. I'm going to number these lines just so that I can know exactly where I'm going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down will be negatives. And to the left is negative. So first, x is 0. We didn't go left and right. 0 is right in the middle. Y is down 2, right there. And then my next point, X is 4, from the origin in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Y is also up 4. So notice, or remember, whenever we plot these two points, we start from the origin and then count X and then count Y. It's like directions on how to get somewhere. But then when we find our slope, we're not looking at the origin at all. We only want to look at this point and this point. And we're going to count our slope as a fraction, rise over run. Rising up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're running over 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 over 4. This is a great answer, but we can divide by 2 to simplify it and give us 3 over 2. That's our m or our slope. Last one like this, x, y, x, y. Let's plot our points. So x is negative 3 from the middle, 1, 2, 3. And then positive 3, 1, 2, 3. That's this point. And our second point, x is 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then negative 1 is down 1 right there. So we have those two points. I'm going to draw my line through them. And then find my slope, my m. Rising from my elevator here, we're really going down in the elevator. One, two, three, oh, one more. Four fours. And over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more is ten. I'm going to simplify this by dividing by 2, and we get negative 2 over 5. So there's my slope for the second one here. Now we've learned a lot of different ways to find slopes so far. We've learned just telling me is it positive, negative, zero, or undefined. We've also learned to count our slope, rise over run. And then just a little bit more advanced when we have to plot the points ourselves. So we really learned two ways. Positive, negative, zero, undefined, and counting our slope. There is one last way that we need to learn, and this is using an equation. Find the slope of the line that passes through the two points. I am not asking you to graph them. Do not count rise over run. We need to use our slope formula or equation. So this poster is on the wall but we need to only look at this piece right here. And that formula says y2 minus y1 
over x2 minus x1. Well, what does that mean? We have two points here, and we've been labeling them x, y, x, y, like we always do. The only difference is these have ones and twos. So I'm just going to say, hey, this is my first point, it's the first one listed, and this is my second point, so they just get twos. First point will get ones, second point gets twos. And then we just have to plug it into our equation. We're trying to find m, our slope, and then first it says y2. y2 right here is really just the number 1. The 2 means nothing other than telling you which y to look at. It's not to the exponent, it's not anything else, it's just telling you which y to look at. And we looked at this y, and the answer is 1. Then it says minus y1. y1 tells you to look at the first y. That's 3. That goes on the top. Then on the bottom, we have x2. x2 is right here, this number 3. Minus x1. And x1 right here is a negative 5. So notice, one negative came from the equation. Let me erase this so we can see it again. One came from the equation, and one came from the x. So those two negatives make a positive. And all we have to do is simplify. One minus three, those are different signs, so we're going to subtract. Three minus one is two. Are there more positives or negatives? There's more negatives, so it's a negative two. And 3 plus 5 is 8. We can simplify this by dividing by 2 to make it just a little bit smaller. And we should get 2 divided by 2 is 1. It's negative. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our answer is negative 1 over 4. Same thing over here. Here I'm going to label my points x, y. This is my first point, so they get 1s. This is my second point, so they get 2's. I'm going to write my uh, slope formula a little bit bigger here, just so we can see it. It says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So first, y2. y2 right here is really the number 4. Minus y1, which is also 4. Then on the bottom, x2, which is negative 3, minus, as part of the equation, x1, which is 0. So let's simplify. 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 3 minus nothing, same sign, adding 3, 3 plus 0 is still just 3. They're all negatives. 0 divided by anything, this is okay, so it's really just 0. So our slope, m, is 0. That's a flat and horizontal line. All right, two more. I'm going to label my points first always. x, y, that's my first point. x, y, that's my second point. And plug them into our equation. Our equation says first look for y2. Right here, it's negative 4. Then minus y1 and y1 right here is 6. Then on the bottom, x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is 0. So negative 4 minus 6, these are all negative, same sign, add and keep, that's a negative 10. And 5 minus nothing is still 5. We can simplify this. 10 divided by 5 is really just 2, or you can divide by 5 on the top and the bottom. It's just negative 2 over 5 over 5, which is 1. 2 divided by 1 is still just 2. So our slope, m, is negative 2. Our last one, this is x, y, x, y, first point, second point. Let's plug them into this equation here. y2 is negative 2 minus, that's part of the equation, y1, which is also 2. And on the bottom, x2 minus x1, 5 minus x1, which is also 5. 
be careful here. Negative 2 minus 2, these are all negatives. That's a negative 4. And on the bottom, 5 minus 5 is 0. So this one is actually not okay. So if it's a no, that's not 0 like it was up here. If you can't do it, no means it is undefined. That means this would be a vertical line. Like we went down in our elevator 4 and over 0. We didn't go anywhere. It's a vertical line. So here is your homework. Good luck.